Oh yeah, how are you guys doing? Yeah. Awesome. I'm feeling good. I recently had a one night stand with a 60 year old lady. That's pretty good, yeah. I'm laughing at me, perfect, it's weird. Uh, yeah, one night stand with a 60 year old lady, pretty weird. I don't have a lot of one night stands. I especially don't go for older women, uh, nothing against them. It's just that I, uh, I am adopted and my mom's out there somewhere. You know, that's, that's weird, it's scary. Don't need to be playing this game of incest roulette, no thank you. But my friends, they love this bar, they call it the Cougar Bar. They're always trying to get me to go. They're like, come on, man, let's go meet some cougars. Let's go meet some MILFs. I was like, guys, look, there's only one MILF for me, okay? And that is the mom I'd like to find. <laughs> I got dragged to the Cougar Bar. This lady and me, we started a conversation with me by saying, oh my God, you look just like a friend I had years ago. Can I buy you a drink? And I was like, well, this is very uncomfortable, but free drink. <laughs> got to talk to her. She's like, how old are you? I was like, 32. She's like, oh my God, I'm old enough to be your mother. So like, yeah, let's never think about that again. I was like, I know it's impolite to ask a woman her age, but by chance, were you pregnant in 1986? Can I ask that? Is that weird? And then I had sex with the lady. You guys don't think she's my mom, dude. That'd be weird. It seems unlikely. Oh, okay. What are the odds that she's my mom, right? What are the odds? When I woke up the next morning, she was gone. And what are the odds the same lady abandoned me twice, right? That seems to happen. Come on. I am really adopted. Give it up for that, guys. Give it up for me being adopted, right? Yeah. yeah. Giving it up for me being given up. That's a lot of fun. I'm having a good time. Growing up, my mom, uh, my rebound mom, obviously, uh, <laughs> was very open with me that I was adopted. I remember her telling me as a child, she's like, Johnny, you're adopted. And the moment I saw you, it was love at first sight. I knew you'd be my son. And that's like a really special thing for your mom to say. And I was like, Dad, did you have the same experience? He was like, ooh. <laughs> It's like, you were the only white baby they had, so, yeah. Right? Weird. <laughs> I, took a, uh, I took a DNA test this year, because I was very curious about the background. You know, I don't know about the background. I was very excited when my DNA test came back. 70% Italian. Wow, right? It made sense, because I was always doing this. And I didn't know why. I was Italian the whole time. For example, I'd like go down on a woman, and I'd stop, and I'd do that. I'd do that kiss. I'd kiss, and that's a spicy vagina. I'd say that. And she'd be like, I'm not going to sleep with you anymore. So I totally understand, but she'd definitely get your vagina checked. It's not supposed to be spicy. It's not good. I think it's good. I am a, I'm a single guy dating, it's not going great, don't really feel good about it. I think one of my issues is that I'm not very romantic, I'm not a romantic guy. I thought about it, the most romantic thing I've done in the last few years was, I bought a second pillow for my bed. Because women think it's weird if you only have one pillow. Like, pillow talk in my bedroom is just, who gets the pillow? That's how it goes. They just be like, what kind of guy only has one pillow? It's like, I don't know what kind of girl, can't take a hint, please leave. Time to go. <laughs> Recently a woman said to me, I have four pillows. Everyone should have four pillows. <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> Everyone should have, you should, there should be 31 billion pillows on this planet. That's what you think. That's nuts. She's like, pillows are a deal, it's five bucks. It's like, it's not a deal if you don't need it. That's not what a deal is. I'm not gonna get the pillows. Because that's not gonna be enough. You know, the next next time she's gonna come over, she's gonna be like, we should get you a box spring. <laughs> it's not good enough. She's gonna come back the next week, she's like, we should get these stone cold posters down. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you moving in? Come on, chill, dude. That's my, my room. It's only happen my way. I recently, uh, recently had sex on a first date. That's great, right? <laughs> Love sex on a first date, but you know what sex on a first date means? It means no more dates. Really. 
done dating that person <laughs> off the hook. And we had a good date. She invited me back to her place. She comes on to me very aggressively. She's like, hey, just to let you know, I like it rough. I was like, hell yeah, let's do this. And she's like, I need you to punch me in the face. <laughs> I actually don't want to do that. Doesn't, I don't like that at all. I didn't punch that lady in the face. She was pretty bummed. She told me that that made me a little bitch. <laughs> but honestly, if I'd be punching you, you'd be saying the same thing. <laughs> Much of a puncher. Also, didn't realize this, agreeing to be rough with her meant that I was consenting to her beating the shit out of me. Didn't know that was part of the deal. But that lady hurt me so much. <laughs> I'm a hairier guy, I have a lot of chest hair. Uh, that's gone, she took that. It's hers now. So she was pretty disappointed that I didn't punch her. But uh, at the end of the, the, the night, she was like, you know, maybe we could do this again sometime. Maybe you could make it up to me. Maybe you could step your game up. I was like, Jesus, all right, let's do this. I went out, so uh, it worked out perfectly though. On the second date, on the second date, she told me that she uh, voted for Trump. And I was like, yo, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this lady. <laughs> and then I beat that lady up. <laughs> Have a good night, guys, thanks so much.